If you typically listen to this podcast on audio-only platforms, well, rest assured, there's a link in the description that takes you to the video format of this podcast interview. Now, let's get on with our special guest. Let's get right into it. Listen, a lot of times what gives me the accreditation, if you will, and the representation. Hello, I'm the host of Wild Podcast. My name is Darshan. And it's going down like this. Big Red helps me around the house. My dream car happens to be a 13 Tundra. What's your Anything else you got to say? Any words of maybe encouragement or words of hope? Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Darshawn McElroy. We have a special guest. We have Miss Ilonka in the building. You, How you nailed doing? it, Darshan. You did it. <laughs> I tried so First hard. Try. I practiced. <laughs> I practiced so hard. I did. I promise you. You know, I practiced so hard. So, so how are you doing today? I'm amazing. I, I, I'm so excited because I just had technical difficulties and then all of a sudden it was like, I'm on. So I, it's great right. to be here. Thank you. So, so one of the first things that I noticed was the word quantum, right? And I grew up off of, of the story of quantum leap, but your book is called quantum rebel. So how did you come up with the title and, and why that title? So I, I think it, it exemplifies the, the depth of the book also. So it, when people ask me what's the book about, I, I answer different every time I, I, I'm asked that question because it's so many things all in one. And I, I guess the, the quantum part comes from the part that we're all, really when it comes down to the smallest minutia, we're just vibration. And that's what connects us all. And um, the rebel part is I find that we're in an era of our life, of our, you know, of our humanity now that we're really shifting from into a more elevated way of living and leading. And I say from inspiration and uh, you see it every day, you know, you open up the news and you see the, the more scarcity based, the more dominance and control and moving into a more elevated way of, of looking differently at life and, and, and seeing it more through a lens of possibilities and, and uh, growth and evolvement. So th those two together, and, and it is, it's like I call it the quantum rebel revolution, except I say it is a revolution of love. But it is a revolution because you are actually, it, it seems like all the old ways of being are crumbling apart. And it's it's people like you. You're look at you. You're you're starting a new way of of bringing authors and and being an author. What before it wasn't in our realm of uh, possibilities, right, you know. And right. today it, it is becoming that realm. That's what um, that that's why I love being on this on the show because you're giving, you're you're passing on the inspiration to others. And that's what that's the quantum part. All that's what connects us. So I have a lot of questions, but I know we're limited. Um, what was that transformation for you to develop it though? Like, like what was the big, like that aha moment? So I, I, the book is really part autobiographical. And I, I would say it's, it wouldn't, I wouldn't call it an aha moment. It's, it's about like it, it, for me, it's been a stretched aha moment because I've, um, when I thought I was ready, uh, I never knew that I had this in me. Let me start that way. You know, I never knew that I could write. I never knew that there were poems that were waiting inside of me to be expressed. And when I published my first poem bundle, it was um, the, the, uh, the sometimes I, I look at them and I, and I have to say, did I write that? And so in Quantum Rebel, I also say it's about um, this is co-created with Source. It's about getting okay. and and um, so my I, my aha moment is finding that depth within me, you know and and uh, yes. So you mentioned you mentioned source. I'm familiar with source. I'm familiar with law of attraction. So what's your relationship with law of attraction and, and source? So the thing is is so in quantum level I talk about setting the soul free. 
and in a very non-dogmatic, non-religious way, non-spiritual also, uh, honoring that, we, we, you know, we, we all come from different backgrounds, we have different religions, but at the core, there's something that, that unites us. And um, so um, that, that is what the, the, the quantum part takes away our differences and um, where we get to see more of the possibilities and who we are as, as body, mind, heart, and soul. And from that more elevated step into our world. So what have you learned about your life so far? So I think the biggest lesson is that there's, you know, there's, there's this, we go through personal development where we actually, you know, at some point in our life, we've felt like a victim, you know, like everything is against us. Like things aren't just not happening for us. And I remember like when I finally got there, you know, when the poems had come in and I was like, you know, I have all this wisdom now that I'm sharing with the world. Then I realized that it took me another 13 years to realize that beyond that personal development, there's so much more to us. And I call it um, really quantum expansion, soul mastery, and really s sitting into our and, and growing into the, the, that, more in depth of who we are and stepping into that um, into that that level of being and i think the most difficult part for me was not the living part but the leading part and i think that's what took me so long getting comfortable with speaking this at the level of leadership right. because i do believe that we're we're now in an era if you look at for example just at the elections of that's going on right now Somebody asked, um, can joy and, and, and inspiration be a strategy? And I say, heck yes. That is the, we're moving into that place that, um, you know, the, the, the visionary leaders, the people that see the, you know, beyond the, the victim, but see that we are, we are a force that can create, you know, and that when we vibrate at that higher level, when we see ourselves as, um, part of that love which is within us, whether it doesn't matter what's going on, we could be in a time of chaos. And still, I say, you know, at the small, you can always find the one thing that inspires you, that keeps you at a, and your emotions at a higher level, you know, instead of going into anger and doubt, keeps you at the higher level, which keeps you moving forward and being a creative force. So let me ask you this question because you just mentioned it about being a leader. Uh, can you see yourself being a leader? So, so I think that we're all leaders. You yeah. know, we are, and and the beauty is that, um, especially the leader. It's, 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 so, quantum level, I say, it is written for the awakening soul as well as what I call quantum rebels. And those are the visionary leaders that they're, they're, it's, it's like, it, I call it a dual mission. So we're here to not only uplift ourselves, but we're also inspired to live, to uplift the world around us. And so once we see that in us, then we become a force that can now, you know, that, that unleashes the leadership within us. And we see that I, uh, it's not about the size of, um, what we impact, but it's really about the depth. You know, I, I, sometimes I say, you know, you could be the mother of the next president of the new world. I mean, right. talk about impact, you know? Right. So, and, and it, when you look through that lens, now it shifts how we define leadership. You know? So let me ask you this. Um, in this process of living your life, uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses that you found out about yourself? So I think the, 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 the part for me for a long time, I, I, I had to like, when I was, when I was born, when, when I was little, if I, I was a free spirit, you know, my, my parents re remind me, they bought me the desk to have my homework on and here I went building in my own little tree house. And that's where I did my stuff. I played my guitar, did my homework. 
but then I entered into what I thought was the, you know, the way of the world, you know, trying to fit in. And I think that was where I, I allowed myself to become weak because I gave up the, the rebel that was inside of me, you know, that free spirit that always um, um, saw, you know, it, it, I, it, I sp- like I spoke to my plants. I had connections with my animals without even speaking. And I thought everybody does this, you know, but then when I went into the real world, I realized that that wasn't the way. And so I spent quite some years, you know, just really, nobody told me to do this, but conditioning myself and trying to be like everybody else. And so that process of learning to let go of those conditioning that allowed that the strengths that I I believe are within us all to really come out, you know, right. and and that that's really what inspired me to to actually write it down. And I, I remember when I was going through the process, I had some proofreaders, and one of them said, "Ilanka, you know, I admire you. That how could you be so, you know, vulnerable the way you share what you share? Because part of it is it is part autobiographical, but then I said, well, through that, I and you and we can inspire others." that are that may be in a in a in a darker place or that may have been struggling and that just need to hear that um that that inspiration of you know if i can do it so can you right. and and I, I and i believe that is the um yeah that's uh i would say that, that in terms of weaknesses and strengths right i believe it's an evolving thing also right you know what? And you said struggle, because one of my questions was like, what's your struggle? But I'll put it to you like this. Uh, when you struggled uh, throughout your life and you finally figured it out, this was part of the reason why you wrote the book Quantum Rebel, because you went through a, a series of different things to figure out, hey, listen, guys, I think we're kind of going through the same things. <laughs> we're on the same quantum tra- track. Listen to me. I got you. Yes or no? Yes and no, <laughs> okay. Okay. which is which is the world of quantum, right? It is. It's right, not. It's right. no longer or. It's about and, right? Because I do believe that we all. It's yes that yes we we each of us. I always say, um, I can't give you what I don't have. So it's when I when I have experience when I have, um, um, yeah, have wisdom that has built in me and I share it. I can help somebody else um, come along. But in the end, every journey is unique. So in the end, it's not the way that I can say, this is how you do it, A, B, C, D. You know, it is each of one of us has to discover our own part in this. So that's the, the no part. Right, right. I like that. I can't give you what I don't you know, have. And that, I can talk about it and I can teach it. And a lot of our, our coaches and big, you know, big names out there, they do that. And then it leaves people really feeling like, you know, it's not working because it's when we get raw and, and, and really um, share all the stuff, you know, and, and share the good and the bad and, um, and not say, this is how you need to do it because I can give you guidelines. I can. There is a blueprint, but in the end, it's about us. Um, each one of us will have a different way of getting to where we need to go, right. and that it's it's getting used to. That's the quantum part, right? It's getting used right. to the idea of probabilities and and not certainty. And right. once we are able to live with that idea that life is not supposed to be certain, then we get into the rhythm of really life which is which is that you know it's it, it's 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 i call it a dance and getting aligned with that dance of life because the more we we, we align ourselves with that that's mm-hmm. when you know the wave can go in in, in rhythm and that's when yeah. we can expand i like that life is not supposed to be certain i like that i do i like that a lot 
let's tell everybody where they can find you on and, your and website. Same, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I was just going to say it's it's sometimes we do sell that. We sell that, that this is the way you can do it. And people then get disappointed when it doesn't happen. Right. All right. So let's tell everybody where they so can to find answer you your on question, social media. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, social media on Facebook and LinkedIn, it's The Quantum Rebel. And on um, Instagram, it's Quantum Rebels. And let's tell everybody how they can I, uh, I enunciate, talk. how they can enunciate your name. Because so, I had a difficult time. So, don't worry about it. So my whole life, whenever I heard like a pause, then I know it's me. Because that's why I don't use it. I've decided not to use my last name as an author's name because I was like, I'm going to stress out people. So the author's name is Chindia Ilonka, but I was born as Ilonka, Ilonka Shaksi. Absolutely. Well, you're listening to wowpodcast.me. I'm your host, Darshan McAway. We have a special guest, Miss Ilanka. Thank you so much for coming on to the podcast. I greatly appreciate you and keep on doing what you're doing. Love to you. Thank you. And, and I appreciate what you're doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Thank you.